This is where the massive manhunt ended, Kinburn, Ontario, just outside Ottawa, after more than five terrifying hours. I don't want to get into too many details. He was arrested on foot peacefully. Just before 9 a.m., police responded to a call in the usually quiet community of Wilno, where they found a woman's body. Then, at a second location, police found the body of another woman after neighbors heard a gunshot. 11.10 a.m., a third location, 90 kilometers away, another gruesome discovery, the body of a third woman. One of the victims, Anastasia Kuzak, was a local realtor whose sources say knew the accused. She was a, uh, you know, a bright young life that ended far too soon on a beautiful fall day. With the shooter still on the loose, police got a tip. From the OPP intelligence that uh, the male involved in the shooting in Wilno might be heading to Ottawa. That prompted a swift response at the Ottawa courthouse and on Parliament Hill. Police officers heavily armed. Several blocks away. There are so many crazy people in this world. That Whitney Campbell so says she was ordered to lock down several floors of this office building. The influx of police uh, were all over the place. As I walked through the door, there were two policemen standing there with machine guns. 40 minutes away in Kinburn, Denisha Smith's four-year-old daughter was at school, also under lockdown. I raced here to get my kids, so <laughs> pretty scary. Fear followed by relief after a search that covered almost 200 kilometers. At 2.30 p.m., police arrested a 57-year-old man. The suspect is identified as Basil Barutsky, who has a criminal record. But there's no indication, Lisa, how the suspect may have known any of the three victims. All right, Omar Sachedina at the Ottawa Police Department. Thanks, Omar.